Premier, can you just quickly speak to uh, Mike McCormick's comments yesterday? He said that there is no systemic racism in the Toronto Police Service. He also wanted to know what an anti-black racism <coughs> lens means when it comes to a view of the Police Services Act and the SIU. So, um, you know, those are those are questions that he's asking of the demands that, that Black Lives Matter has put forward. Um, what I said when I went to speak with the, uh, with the group, with Black Lives Matter, was that I believe that there is still systemic racism in our society. And I just used some examples of, of concerns that I have. You know, that there are, there are groups in our society who are not achieving at the same uh, rate as, uh, as other groups. There are, there's over-representation in our jails and in our, uh, in our, so, in our um, criminal justice system and in our child welfare system. So, so those are things that need to be tackled. And and uh, I was not making a statement about any particular sector. I was saying that across society, there are challenges that we have to confront, and that's why the Ontario uh, Anti-Racism Directorate is being set up. In terms of the particular demands that Black Lives Matter is making, I haven't commented on those. We are in the process of, uh, of reviewing the police oversight bodies. We will continue to do that. And, and I have said that our ministers will reach out to the, uh, to the group and uh, will be begin the process of having some meetings. I said there needed to be private meetings first, and then, uh, and then we'll look at what a public meeting could look like. He is taking these remarks very personally. He said you singled out the Toronto Police Service. And what is it But, but that's not accurate. That's not accurate. I mean, we have to, you have to look at what I said. I didn't say anything about any police service in particular. And in fact, I said in my comments that I wouldn't comment on a, on a particular police incident. I wasn't talking about the police service. I was talking about a societal reality that I think we all have to grapple with, you know? And, and that's, that's across society. So what does it mean to you when the president of the Toronto Police Association says, without looking at what a review would look like or what might need to be reviewed, there is no racism in the Toronto Police well, Association? All I can all I can say is that uh, in his in his reaction to my comments, he misinterpreted what I said. I hope that he looks back at what I said, and my hope would be that uh, he would like I do, recognize that there are challenges across society. I'm not saying anything about the particular uh, police service in Toronto or anywhere else. I am saying that across society, we have to recognize that there are, uh, there are challenges that we have in terms of racism. In the same way that I, you know, when I brought forward our, um, uh, our sexual assault and, uh, and action plan, that, you know, we, we recognize that there, you know, there is sexism across our society. There is homophobia across our society. These are challenges that we all have to deal with. There's no, there's no shame in recognizing that we have to deal with these things. But the shame is if we pretend that somehow they don't exist. And so I'm not, I'm not prepared to, uh, I'm not prepared to uh, do that. I believe that these are challenges that we have to take on and take very seriously.